Hello. Good, good morning, everyone. Um, what a Zhong Wen Ming Zhe Shi Geling Li. Um, I'm from Autodesk, and um, I lead um, additive, manufa additive manufacturing strategy. And uh, Autodesk is a software company with a portfolio of products that include from design to manufacture. 大家早上好,我的名字叫Lang克Lang,然后我是欧特克公司的真材制造战略的负责人,然后欧特克公司是一个软件公司,然后我们的产品呢,可以帮到你实现从设计到生产整个流程。So, more is inevitable, and the demand for more is driven by demographic changes that are already underway. 所以,随着人口的增加,越来越多的需求是不可以避免的。Excuse me. And as we deal with the inevitability of more, how do we plan for the reality of less? Less resources, less time, less money? So, we have a lot of Okay. When 70% of the spare parts that we make aren't even needed, and we're losing the efficiencies of manufacturing with supply chain inefficiencies. So, uh, according but along with the inevitability of more and the reality of less is the opportunity to make things better. And how do we do this? How do we make things that are better, better suited to their use and better suited to the way that we use them? There are off-the-shelf things that no longer fit our needs or our desires. Mass production has given way to mass customization. And the digital is now integrated into so much of the physical. So now, the technology and what about how we make things? What role can automation play in making things better? And how can we use advanced manufacturing technologies like 3D printing, robotics, additive, and subtractive to make things in new and better ways? So, we So when we combine 3D printing with robots and subtractive, we have the ability to make new things, things of increasing complexity and increasing strength. And there's an opportunity to make things of increasing value. So we can combine 3D printing with robots and subtractive, so we can make things of value. So today we're going to tell you a story about the first ever certified 3D printed ship propeller that we made using uh, Autodesk software. So today,我们想你介绍一个故事,那就是这是第一个被认证的传播螺旋桨3D打印的,然后它的设计是用欧特克的软件实现的。and the technology we're looking at here is focused on DED, which is directed energy deposition. I'm looking at things that are made of metal, that are large scale parts, um, and near net shape. So, we are using this this So there are three, four kinds of DED uh, processes. The first is electron, beam, and wire. 
呃，我们使用了呃，现在我向你介绍四种不同的直接呃能量沉积技术。第一个呢是使用电子束加做加上线材。What happened to our presentation? The second is arc and wire. 第二个是电幅加上线材。And this is similar to TIG and MIG welding, where you use、um, a robot、um, and、um, a wire arc. 这个就是呃，就像你看到的，使用那个机器人手臂，然后进行呃焊接一样的。啊、uh, ，there's laser, laser and wire. 这个是激光和线材打印。And finally, we have laser and powder. 啊，最后是激光加上粉末打印。And there are many commercially available machines that have laser and powder.、Um, you can get finer and smaller features with this particular technology. 然后在市面上现在有很多的机器都是使用这种技术，然后你可以得到一个更加精细的纹理的表面。So Autodesk has a portfolio of software、um, that supports additive manufacturing in the DD space. And at our booth, you can explore both our NetFab software as well as our PowerMill additive software. 呃，欧特克公司，所以是呃，这个产品呃，我们生产我们呃制作的产品可以呃支持呃，就是 DED 的呃这个技术这项技术，所以我们可以从呃呃使用我们的软件进行设计，并且再到后面的生产。And, and our PowerMill software allows you to、um, 3D print parts in an automated way in the top five buckets. So, looking at linear 2.5D extrusion,、um, surface revolution, features on cylinders and planes, surface coating, and coaxial features. So, we use PowerMill this software to achieve five different uses. The first one is the linear 2.5D extrusion. The second one is the linear 2.5D extrusion. The third one is the linear 2.5D extrusion. 走势方式，然后第二个是属于那个桶状的，呃呃，桶状这种旋转的这样一种打印方式。第三个呢，就是呃，桶柱状的，还有包括后面的一些，喂喂喂，还有包括后面的一些呃，喂喂喂，呃，表面的这种呃呃，叫做呃，表面呃铺呃铺，叫做什么呢 ？Coaxial features。Yeah. 呃，这对，然后还有就是呃，三百六十度旋转进行加工。And these are just some examples of parts、um, that have come off the machine in each of these different areas. 呃， so, 呃，然后这上面的呃这几种应用呢，都是使用 PowerMill 这个软件，然后自动化生成的。所以下面呢，呃，这些图片呢，就是这些应用的实际的一些案例，就打印出来的实呃实际的产品。Uh, so what what else does this look like in action? So here's an example part that came from a a research project we did, and we were trying to make the as print meet or the as designed meet the as print.、Um, and this is interesting because this is an aerospace part. It's a, a critical class one component, which means that it cannot fail.、Um, and so we were trying to.、Um, Make this part and also look at issues around、um, lead time and also quality. And. Uh, so we, uh, hope to make the product, uh, design the product, and meet our design needs. And this is a project we have with the Kungur company. This is a plane assembly part. And this is a one part need. 重要的部件对于呃飞机来说，所以它的要求非常高。我们所要解决的问题就是解决它的前导时间长跟质量要求非常高，这样呃这样一个问题。然后我们嗯、呃、就是需要找到一个更快更好的方式去把这个呃零件给制造出来。And, and so next, we wanted to explore、um, what it would look like to make large-scale parts,、um, um, looking at blades.、Um, this is、um, an example of a, a a propeller for a ship.、Um, and so we used、uh, wire arc additive、um, manufacturing, which is also known as WAM,、um, to 3D print、um, a ship propeller. 所以我们需要呃，我们在探索就是超越这种自动化的呃制造的能力。然后这里是一个呃电弧线材加呃真材制造的一种呃一组实验。然后我们是在呃为那个海运产业，然后制造一个就是那个船上的螺旋桨。我们需要嗯、呃、把它的那个叶片进行一个呃呃制造一个替代品。
And so this is an example of our digital workflow. And as I mentioned earlier, Autodesk has the entire portfolio of products from design to manufacture. So as you can see, you've designed in CAD and Autodesk Fusion. 嗯，所以这是我们的那个数字化工作流程。嗯，然后第一个呢，就是我们在嗯，Fusion里边制作一个呃，设计它的软件原型。and then you design specifically for, for WAM or wire arc additive manufacturing in, in Autodesk PowerShape. PowerShape里边对它进行进行处理，然后设计出它那个就是你要呃就是呃替代部分的嗯产品所需要替代的部分。you use PowerMill to do the trajectories, and also you can see here um, we've actually hollowed out one of the blades of the turbine, excuse me, the propeller, um, so that it's lighter, because one of the benefits of additive manufacturing is light weighting, and so we can use our software for the light weighting as well. And and you can also use PowerMill to do the sequencing, so you can make decisions around how you're going to print. Are you printing layer by layer, or are you printing blade by blade, one blade at a time? So we, um, we tested out a couple of different design options, um, and here you can see four different ones. Um, over here we tested what it would look like to just print one replacement blade as opposed to the entire um, propeller. Um, we also created a new design for a propeller, and then we looked at what it would be to um, try to um, decrease the amount of time it took for post-processing. So increase the speed of production and decrease the time for post-processing. 所以这就是我们所看到的就是不同的设计设计可能性然后第一个呢就是我们把那个叶片设计成然后就完整的一个整块叶片然后让它一次性的可以打印出来后面呢我们对它的设计进行了优化然后让它可以就是需要更少的打
录那个叶片的设计呢是呃把嗯。呃 Prom Promarine 呃认证的，然后它的热处理呢是被 Ramlab 呃认证的，然后它的嗯、呃、沉积技术呢是被欧德克给认证的，然后它的那些性能啊，还有测试呢是被嗯、呃、Diamond 和 BV 给认证的。And we use、uh, nickel aluminum bronze as the material that we 3D printed in、um, because it's light, it's strong, and it, it doesn't rust. 我们使用是镍铝铜作为它的打印材料。嗯、呃，原因呢是因为它很呃这个材料很强呃有很强的呃属呃刚性，然后还有并且它很轻，而且不容易被腐蚀。And so we, here we have our 3D printed ship propeller, and it's very, very big. So this is what we made out of the ship propeller, and it's very, very big. But before it's finalized, it needs to be post-processed.、Um, so we need to use inspection, grinding, balancing,、um, excuse me, balancing and process and polishing to、uh, post-process the final part. To make it complete, we need to do some maintenance and polishing. We use the test and the polish. 包括嗯，测它的重量，还做一些抛光处理，然后最终的成品是这个样子。And this is the final result, and we have some video here of it being attached to the ship. 然后这就是一个小段视频，然后嗯，去展示这个嗯螺旋桨是怎么被安装到这个船上的。And remember, we we hollowed part of it out to to lightweight it, so it's. Just as strong but lighter than the original part. Uh, because we have done the low hanging rope, so it is more lighter than the original part, but its strength is more. And this is just a short video of、um, the、uh, propeller on the ship as it's sailing into the harbor. Then this is a video showing the propeller attached to the ship, and then the propeller is attached to the ship. 这个海上嗯运行的一个过程。你 ，Thank you very much。谢谢大家。